So normally, I wouldn't even dream of selling a website for less than $1,000, but in the world of AI, I think I can make websites for people under $1,000 and still make healthy margins. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search business categories in my area that I think have the money to pay for a website. I'm gonna look for businesses that already have websites, but they look really old. And I'm gonna offer to bring them into 2025 with a new simple website. But here's the kicker that makes it kind of personalized. I think because of the technology, I can actually build out a sample website almost personalized to them. Fully built out, but partially built out where they can envision Oh wow, this is this is my website. And this is kind of vibe cody, so I think we're gonna need a vibe code outfit on. Alright, cool, got the vibe code uniform. Let's go. Alright, so very first step, first thing I'm doing, I'm just hopping over to Gemini, hopping over to Grok, and I'm just asking, like, hey, what are the best business categories in a local area that have money to spend on building a website? And I mean this is kind of what I imagine, but I just wanted a uh just kind of a list in front of me as I go into, I'm gonna go straight into Google. Uh, we're just gonna go into Google local business listings. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because I own domain names that I'm actually looking to sell in certain categories, what I already know in my mind is I own some of those in the tree trimming and pl the plumbing business, a few in the heating and cooling, but I think plumbing would be a great start uh so let's let's start there so i'm just gonna literally just go to google uh let's see what happens from the from the google just the business listing search and see if these guys are um like they should have websites listed with their listing maybe i don't use the business listings because they don't they don't have their websites listed there all right i need to spend a few minutes on this and i'll uh, I need to think about it and come right back. All right, I'm back, baby. I realized what I was doing wrong. I was confused on why I wasn't seeing websites because when I search Plumbers Mobile Alabama, I'm in this all section instead of the maps. It looks, uh, the listings kind of look the same. So I was a bit confused. So these, here here are the websites. Um, so what I want to do is go into each of these listings and just kind of like have a closer look. And I actually know off the top of my head that these are going to be good at the top. Uh, one, I see tons of ratings. Two, I actually, I mean, I recognize, I recognize the names of these companies. But you could just go through and you can open up these websites and look at them. Great website. Not going to build anything for these guys. Don't love it, but they're going to be fine with that. I can't say one of the things I look at is uh, I always check out copyrights on the bottom of websites. Like this one is six years, um, seven years old. But I'm still not going to reach out to this one probably. But that's just something that to note. Probably not these, definitely not these guys. This site looks great. In fact, they have new trucks down. I've seen those. All right, let's keep, let's look at a few more. I guess the second thought would also be, you know, does someone not have a website and why don't they have a website? I feel like I'd rather build one for someone that has an older site before someone with no site. Um, and why am I thinking that? I'm thinking that because if they have a site, they at some point, agreed that it was smart of them to do so and so someone that doesn't have one now i'm just wondering what's in their mind right like they're like maybe they're like oh i haven't had one in 20 years why would i need one now um that's kind of a, a thought that i'm having but let's see if this guy mr mr joe here um yeah so maybe i could build maybe i could build a base plumbing site and then personalize it and change that meaning depending on who I'm sending it to. So maybe maybe I can assume that Joe Reed does not have a website. He's obviously doing some good work here, um, but no website. He's on the map listing, which is pretty neat. So let me call this guy, let me call this guy a lead. So here's the next thing I did since Mr. Joe here, we're going to, we're gonna build you a basic site, Joe. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna assume you don't have a website. So I came into ChatGPT to find a good prompt for this and basically i just said hey i want to create a sleek modern website for the plumbing trade in mobile alabama so it gave me a pretty cool pretty good prompt here um you know and then i kind of got in a side tangent and was asking about some other questions um of it about like where to deploy and host a site i'm gonna figure that part out next i'm thinking i would just use Vercel. um okay so i'm gonna build this on vo which is Owned by Vercel. Let me create a new project. We'll call this plumbing website. And we're gonna drop in 
this prompt here. And let's see what it does. So if this website's cool, what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll like, is that a cell phone number? I could text, I could text Mr. Joe. I'll test that first. I wonder if there's a tool, is there a tool that tells you if something is a cell phone number or not? I need to look into that. Yet another tool idea. I'm sure it exists already, but anyways. All right, tell you what, while we're waiting here, uh, let's go, let's go make a design for this. We need a, we need a logo here for Dolls Plumbing Service. These are pretty great, okay. Uh, folder, my media, explore. Create a logo for Dolls Plumbing Service. Now, why do we, so let's stop. We need to change the aspect ratio here. That's not a good logo. Um, all right, so we're gonna come back to that. Let's go see where we are here. Still working, baby. Still working. Uh, I appreciate you. Keep it up. Don't need that anymore. All right, here we go. This is looking really good. I don't like the contrast. Um, I think we need to make that a lot lighter gray, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know how to fix it. Maybe it'll... Um, with that said though, <laughs> I mean, I'm staring at a website, right? So like how, how cool, cool is this? This is cool, this is cool. All right, but I do think we need to fix this um, top area. Let's see if we can get a logo here. Dolls Plumbing Service. Um, cool, but we need to adjust the coloring. So let's do this. Let's see if we can fix this first and then we'll adjust that logo and that'll be that. A side note. Follow along. I'm gonna do 10 of these and we're gonna see how the response is. Uh, do 10 of these. I'm gonna do 10 outreaches just as a sample. See how the response is. Follow along, uh, obviously subscribe. I also have an email newsletter where I, where I track this kind of stuff. I also give away 100 uh, business ideas. So feel free to um, get that. You can get that down below. All right, so let me paste that screenshot here. Let's adjust the contrast. So it's more pleasing to the eye. The gray is very dark and blend too much with the blue. Please adjust. So I'm just gonna give it a go and like let's let's let it uh, let's let it do what it will. After that, we'll adjust the logo. It's the last thing we'll do. I'll give it a logo and say like, hey, and I don't know, install this logo at the top of the website or something. And that'll be it. We don't want to do too much because the whole point is, the whole point is just to create a basic website, get a yes from somebody, and then you can go back and like fix and like make the final, final changes for them. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool because I can actually deploy this website, make it live and send them a link and be like, hey, cool. This is a, uh, you know, this is your site. Bam. Yes. Yes. That's the change. So good, that's perfect. Okay, now I wanna take a screenshot of that. Let's try this. I think I like, actually no, I like the, the other one better. So let's see if can we edit the prompt, scrub changes. So I'm gonna paste that screenshot. Please adjust the colors of the logo to match the so basically I'm just asking it to match the colors. Now, if that doesn't work, what we'll do is we'll try again and I can just take a, um, I can grab the color of what this blue is cause that's a nice blue and I'll ask it to change this. But for now, we'll see if it can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy this. Let that work on that. When I deploy it, it's basically gonna live live on the web. It's gonna live live on the, uh, on the internet. So it's working on that one. Okay. I feel like I should go and I should try my other idea too. My other idea is to use like a Chrome extension, a color picker and find what like this color is. For example, the blue is this. I can get the hex value. The hex value is like the exact color. So which one did I do? That one? I think. Yeah, let's do that one. I like that one. Uh, okay, so edit, remix, edit, prompt. Adjust the color of the logo to, and I just gave it a hex value. So it'll know, it'll know what that is for sure. Oh my gosh, here's the other ones. So yeah, I didn't even have to give it the hex value. So here's the hex value, the one that it's working on. Um, and this is what it did. So, oh, that's amazing. So white would work. I think that blue would work better. It's pretty great. I'm going to download... Go ahead and download this. Is this a 
P and G, am I going to have to remove the background? I'm not sure. Now, how long have I spent on this? Okay, less than an hour. So, okay, so we're doing doing all right so far. But if I do 10 of these, that'll be 10 hours uh, of outreach. Is it going to be worth it? 10 individualized connections. Um, I think so, especially if I, if I did more work on the front end of like pre-qualifying that person. Like what if, what if this guy's not in business anymore, right? That would be, well, that might be a waste of my time. Like that would be a, that would be a bummer. So, I mean, that would be like, that would be something that would be smart to do. Temp dolls logo. I don't know if I have to remove the background or not. Please remove the background of this logo and replace the logo on our site. So should know that's the logo. I didn't say top left, but that should be pretty obvious. And I do want to see, oh, wow. Okay, so that's the actual matching of the colors. No, this is much better. Okay, uh, see this blue, we're gonna download this blue. All right, so cool. So it added the logo, logo looks great, but it put the gray background back, right? So. Uh, Told it, the logo looks great, but please replace the gray background with the previous hero image. So let's see what happens. I just wanna just wanna get to a final resting place with a boom, just like a good looking website that I could hop through and hop through and show to somebody. And what's cool, talking out loud, what I'm thinking is, what's cool is I could just grab, um, oh my gosh, what was that plumbing truck? That was weird. I can grab, uh, I can create new logos as I, uh, develop these and like shoot videos for each person or whatever and like put a new logo up there right so it's like it's their it's their site all right this one's a little weird okay we're getting a little out of sorts here this ai image is funky we got a floating wrench over there i wonder can we are you able to use the same image that was previously there now we're talking back to the one that was there oh so good looking Oh, look at that. Dolls Plumbing Service. Dang. Okay. 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 We're busting out the seams there, but that's okay. Just resize that logo. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. Ain't no big thing. Oh, this is so good. Okay, cool. Stay tuned. You can see what happens. See if I can sell this website. <laughs>